Oh, it's a big it's one. One big boat. I am brute. Wrong again. We're all gonna die. Punch it, Pete! Not today! Dead? Uh, not quite. We're lunch or dinner. Oh boy, this is real good. This slimy cave. It is a big old stomach. Nebula, look at her. What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait. Uh oh. Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. What? If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. He's trying to help Nebula. Mm-hmm. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. There's no use. Can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Whenever I wanted. <laughs> you gotta save your strength. Maybe then I could have slept. Just hang tight. Try to save your strength. For what? We lost. It's just no one wants to admit it yet. <laughs> it was my idea to put all this in my body. <laughs> Told everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. Ouch. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I. You should tell her exactly how you feel. Seriously. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? Yeah, tell her. I can't. I can't. That's your family. That it's too late for Gabor and me. I'm a living reminder of her. I'm with Thanos. She can't move on until that last... That last piece of him is gone. And things will be better soon. For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Come on. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but I'm already dying. 
<laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Holy crap, dude. This is sad. Hey. Hey. Do, uh... Do you want me to... I don't know people. <laughs> trying to fix me. I, uh... Yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you. Sister. What is it? I... I love you. No! What the hell? Oh, she died. <sighs> that sucks. Man, I like Nebula. Poor Neb. Underrated, I swear to God. I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Gamora, do you want to talk? No, I just want to focus on. Sorry, Gamora. <sighs> Me too. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Yeah. <laughs> like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some uh -oh. parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. Can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. <laughs> All right. Let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Ah! Oh, please don't drop me the ass. Well, 
Close fall there. Flames. So time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. We should be good. I hope. Rocket, I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay, I know when to back off. The unloading going. I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with them next time? <laughs> Mora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Mora. A stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you. I think. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of that. No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes anything. No, Drax. Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? <laughs> How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Just had to put in some elbow grease. Sounds gross now that I think about it. You. Rocket, any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work <laughs> in progress. What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior, like Thanos trained Nebula. Still, I am confident she would not have fallen down the same path. Rocket, what gives her the mood lately? I ain't got a ton of interest in dying right now. Can you blame me? Gamora, talk to me. I'm just glad Nebula said how she felt. I needed to hear it to believe it, you know? <sighs> Let's go. I'm sorry, I, I need to focus. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> inside an upset stomach.
What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. <laughs> Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Gamora, how are you holding up back there? I'll... I'll be better once we get out of here. Oh, man. Not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. Rocket? Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Great. More rocks in my way. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Okay, I already did that. Okay, I've done that for a bit, minute now. So... Gamora, how is emptying out the ship going? We're at each other's throats. So, just another day on the Milano? <sighs> Great. Yeah. More rocks in my way. Works. Hey, it's fuel. So is Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, man. Mountain Dew's fuel. You know what's up. All about that Mountain Dew. I could use some Mountain Dew. Oh. 
easy, big boy. Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No! <laughs> Oh, he's so mean. Woo! Got those bad boys hot. All right. Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Woo! Overheating there. Bingo. drama going on. 